All right, hello everybody. Uh, today, I'm just going over. I did a little work on the deck here, and I just wanted to capture some of the tips. I'm no pro deck installer, but I definitely come up with uh, some ways of getting some of this done, and some tips, especially for somebody that's never uh, done any of this. This uh, decking material is Trex. Uh, all of this is uh, Trex, and then we've got a pressure treated frame. Um, the decking's fairly straightforward. I did do um, screws through all of the uh, stringers, and then I used their clip system up top. Uh, these uh, horizontal banisters, fairly easy to do. Um, the easiest way I found to do them is actually take these two pieces uh, here, lay them down in between, or or just on the outside, mark and measure them. It'll save you a ton of time because you can basically cut both pieces. Now that's assuming that all of your uh, posts are, good, are, are straight. If they're not and you need to cut a top different than a bottom, make sure you're doing that equally. So those went in pretty well. Uh, the little foot here at the bottom, it's a little difficult to do, especially on the tracks. You can kind of see that one didn't plan very well and it ended up being in a crease, but I was able to semi-resolve it. Um, the decking material goes down really good. One recommendation I'll make, um, I did, when I when I frame this deck in, you can see how nice and it's super flat and super level. That would not have been the case if I had just framed this and hoped for the best. Um, I actually took uh, the DeWalt, uh, DeWalt cordless planer and went through and planed these, you know, using a string and a level and uh, got this really close to level uh, before I actually started lay laying down decking boards. Uh, stringers, you know, this is a, a relatively long stringer. Um, I would not... Uh, go this is about a 14 inch i think that i, I should have done like a 12 uh, but this is like 14 inch uh on center stringers I, if i did uh, redid this i would probably do it on 12. Um, but it's plenty sturdy and i've added additional supports um, i actually poured two more concrete piers uh, just to kind of stiffen it up a bit but it's not going anywhere um, the biggest thing that probably took the longest amount of time, believe it or not, I think the deck was maybe the framing was like a weekend or two, uh, the decking a weekend, you know, three days maybe. Um, but these dang banisters, this took two weekends worth of work just to put these four banisters up. And here's why. They're really hard to uh, cut. Um, and assemble. The first one I did, I actually messed up this top. Uh, the rails didn't line up exactly where I wanted them. Um, I didn't have a good process. So I'm just going to save you some time and tell you exactly how to do this. One, make sure you don't have too steep of an angle. Uh, if you look on the package, it'll tell you what angles it'll support. So find out what you're at. I, I was at like 30, about 36 degrees, I think. Um, which was in, within what these banisters can do. Um, but the easy way to do it is first kind of come up with a center and cut off both ends to where you have plenty of space for this pole. Um, and actually install this. Um, the way I did it, I basically put a 2 by 6 underneath here to space this off of the stairwell and uh, you know got this, this lower and bolted up. Then just take, and I, I've looked on YouTube everywhere, nobody had a really good explanation of how to cut these. But what I found is, is put two poles in, one on this end and one on this end. If you need to, you can go in one, it's not a big deal. Then set your other piece uh, up here, insert it in those poles, and yes, I understand that pole will be leaning out some, but you can kind of get it straight. Those two poles, get those straight. And what I did is I actually clamp this piece before it was cut, I actually clamped it right here. And then I would come on the back side on this plane and actually mark on the back side of where I needed to cut this piece. Uh, and that worked flawlessly. It took, 
basically I, I, I messed with this one for an entire weekend um, and then the next weekend spent about a day messing with this one and then came up with a really good system about using the clamps and those there they did not take maybe half a day to do both of those so it really sped up the process uh, it may save you some time uh, a couple things on these caps uh, the way that I put my caps on is uh, I basically use just some dap uh, caulk, white caulk underneath on the lips. That seals these up pretty good where they don't move. Um, and putting these sleeves on, um, it said you could shim. I really didn't need to. There's quite a bit of space, but once you screw on the, the uh, banisters and such, it really stiffens up. But all in all, uh, it was a good project. We've have already been enjoying the deck. Um, like I say, there was one here before, but it wasn't in as great a shape as this one is. Um, we've already been enjoying the deck way before I actually got these stairs done. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's any, I'm trying to run through all the gotchas that I ran into. Um, the framing went really well. Uh, footer pouring. I uh, basically split that, that span up between uh, footers. <clears throat> that went really well. Uh, one thing, uh, you can picture frame these. I didn't picture frame any of this deck. I basically cut it all off and I cut it in place. And including this side here, um, I was able to get up there with a saw. The uh, Trex cuts really nice. Um, it's a fairly flimsy material um, when you're working with it, especially if it's long. But once you get it installed and, and have to do any kind of cutting or screwing, it actually goes in really nice. And I, uh, even though all these are cut on this side, uh, that side up there is cut. And the far side, I basically lined it up when I installed it. Um, one thing I'll say is the, the metal hanger systems really save you a lot of time. Anywhere you can use one, try to use one, it's, it's going to be more secure. Um, stringer cutting, uh, I basically laid these out. And I kept using the, the first one that I cut, I kept using that as a template. And that kept them all pretty close uh, to what they needed to be. Uh, one thing that will help with, the, with it, if uh, you kind of lay them all up together, you can go through and kind of do a final uh, surface plane with a planer. Just be real careful and make sure you don't start, you know, hitting with nails or anything. But um, I actually used the, uh, the DeWalt cordless uh, planer quite a bit in this project for all of these posts um, and like I say if you need one Lowe sells it and I'm sure there were some reviews uh, on on YouTube about that planer but it, it worked excellent um, anyway uh, I just wanted to kind of get a quick video uh, this is kind of what I've been working on in the past month or so um, I finally got it done and able to enjoy it anyway I hope this helps some folks out and uh, answers some questions. Uh, this, this, uh, these rails really got me. That took a long time to actually figure out a, a quick and convenient way to do that. I hope that helps some folks out. Anyway, we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.